In this week's jazz guitar lesson, I'm going to teach you my easy chord melody arrangement of George Gershwin's Z Wonderful. Hi, my dear jazz guitar aficionados around the globe. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. While chord melody generally isn't that easy to play, I made a beginner to intermediate uh, version of this great jazz standard. You'll learn note for note, slow and easy, and there is also a slow playthrough of the entire song towards the end of this lesson. I've made taps including standard music uh, notation and backing tracks of Z Wonderful, which you can download from one of the links down below in the description box. Please read the short download instructions for uh, right next to the link. All right, let's get started. <laughs> We are in the key of E flat major and we have an A, A, B, C song form. Each of these sections are eight bars long. We have a total of 32 bars. Here we go. So here are the first six bars. This is phrase number one and I'm gonna play through these six bars at a fast tempo first. Then I'll break it all down note for note, slow and easy, and then I'll play those six bars, bars slow again. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we're in the key of E flat major and we start with an E flat major chord. That's a basic jazz chord. I have a video on uh, basic jazz seventh chords. Check them out. Uh, e flat on the sixth uh, fret. Then uh, eight, seven, eight, and we bar all the way through to the sixth. Now I just play the upper three strings plus the bass. If you want to, you can also strum through this. But I just play the upper three plus the A string. Then the E string again and a B string. And that was the melody for the first bar and the second bar always has a fill, so a rhythm fill, okay? And I do a regular jazz rhythm fill and that's the bass first. And then the, low, uh, the, medium, uh, the middle two strings, D and G strings, twice, so. A rest and then all three again. I do not, however, play the B or E string anymore because the melody is still ringing on those strings. The melody was... So I want to keep it ringing and do not want to kind of disturb it. So um, I just play the lower strings and I play them a little quieter so the melody comes through better. Okay, first two bars, three, four. Same thing, same rhythm, now for E diminished, and this one stands for a C altered chord, C7 flat 9 to be exact, but it's spelled E diminished, it's a substitute, we have the E in bass, and here's the E diminished, here's the E, all right, 5, 6, 5, 6, I actually just play the upper 3, but I always fret the entire chord because I'm used to it, all right? So uh, I don't learn new chords uh, just because I need uh, less strings. I just play the entire chord, but uh, fret the entire chord, but just play the upper three plus the bass. E diminished, then a melody on the E string again, and then, and that's the funny thing about diminished chords, 
they repeat themselves all the three strings. So one, two, three. And here is the melody on the top E string, two, three, two, three. So I just move down this chord. Now I play all four notes, the D, G, and B, D, G, B, E strings, right? Now the filler. Uh, again, that's the bass, then the G and B strings, twice, and all three strings again. No E string because this one has the melody on. Right? F my. Well, let's revisit the first four bars. going on 251 actually uh, F minor 911 this might be a little tricky for you if you just started uh, started out here is the F on the 8th fret I bar all the way through but I don't play the E string okay 8 6 by barring 8 8 and 6 this is an F minor 9 11 chord and I strum do I strum through the strings no, I just play the upper three plus the bass, but you could also strum through the strings for this chord. Then the melody again, E string, B string, and now it's the five chord. I'll leave my pinky here, move the ring finger to the left, and add these two. B flat 13 this is. What I have is six, six of D, I don't have the A string. There is never an A string being played when you start a chord from the E string, okay? This would get too muddy. Six, six, seven, eight. B flat 13, tension chord. Check out my video on tension chords. I have everything up here. <laughs> All right, uh, F minor 9, 11 that was. Then B flat 13, I start my filler, because now it's filler time with the bass. Then the three strings and the entire chord, right? Now I have another B flat 13, actually the same chord, but I need this B flat up here and I don't need the bass anymore. So what I do is I change my fingering here, same notes though, and I bar through that B flat on the 6th fret. So we get 6, 7, 8, 6. It's just the same B flat 13, but we have the melody up here now, so I need this. Right, um, here we go. And here's the entire phrase number one at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Here's phrase number two. These are two bars, the last two bars of the A1 section, actually. One, two, three, four. All right, I, you can play two versions of this if this is too hard for you, but I thought a little walking bass would be cool. So um, let's check this out. We have a turnaround. One, six, two, five in the key of E flat is E flat, and we have um, E flat six because the melody is here. So that's six, five, five, four. And I split this bass first, and then the rest of the chord follows the D, G, and B strings. And the next, the uh, sixth chord in the key of E flat is C7 altered. Actually, C minor, but we alter it. So um, this would be here. Let me uh, show you first the, the chord first. The three, two, three, and two by barring. Right? I'm bar. I'm barring this. Uh, and you can play actually just if that if the walking bass is too hard for you. But here's the walking bass. For the walking bass, you always have to split the chord and then approach it by a semitone above or below. That's what I'm doing. Fourth fret leads me to the third fret, C7 flat 9. I split again the bass and the upper three strings. Next is the uh, two chord, and that would be an F minor seven, but uh, it's dominant in this case, F13. Here is the F, 
I approach it via the F sharp on the second fret and go to the F on the first fret and the rest of the chord follows and this is one, two, three on the D, G and B strings. Again, if you can't play the walking bass first, then just play the entire chord, okay? And the 5 chord is the B flat, and the approach note would be A. And then we go to B flat, and we split this chord again, and this is a B flat 7 sharp 5. Uh, I alter this because it leads me, it creates more tension to lead me back to the E flat, to the 1 chord. This is 6, and then follow 6, 7, 7, B flat 7, sharp 5. And another chromatic note, the D on the 5th of the A, A string, and that leads us back to the beginner, beginning chord, alright? Here is the entire phrase number 2, the uh, first ending uh, at slow tempo. 1, 2, 3, 4. Welcome to the A2 section. First thing you do is you repeat phrase number one, the first six bars. And this is the second ending, also a uh, E flat six chord. That's the eight, 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 eight of the upper four strings. E flat, here is the root, okay? So we do our rhythm again, all four strings, bass, and upper three strings twice. And then we need a 5 chord that leads us to the next, to the B section. And the B section starts with a G, so we need a, a D chord, D altered. I have one right here, that's a A diminished chord or D7 flat 9, that's the same thing. So 7, 8, 7, 8. Fill a rhythm again, all four, upper three, and instead of going playing the uh, upper three strings twice, I now go to D7, altered. Here's the D, 10, 11, 11, 11, by barring. All right, here's the uh, phrase number three at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the B section. These are the first four bars. We are uh, in phrase number four. We start with the resolution of the D chord and that's the G major chord, all right? And I strum through it. I have my G here on the 10th of the A, then 9, 7, 7, 7 by barring. I strum through that with my thumb or pick if you use a pick. And then I arpeggiate through the rest of it slowly just to fill the chord, uh, the bar, the measure. I play the A string, D string, G string, B string. And now we have a 2-5 in the key of G is A minor to D7 or D whatever. So I take advantage of the open A string and we need this in the melody. And this is the 11th of A, so I play an A, in a minor 11 chord, which is here. 7 of D, 9, 8, uh, yeah, and 10. Bass first, and then the upper 4. 1, 2. The 5 chord, D13, because we need the D in the melody still. <clears throat> here is the root, actually, or here. 10, 11, 12 and bar to get that 10th fret, upper 4 strings and then another time on the E string. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we go up a whole tone and have another 2-5, B, B minor to E7. Here is the same minor 11 chord that we had on A, now it's on B. 9, 11, 10, 12, B minor 11, then I go to the 10th, use your pinky please, don't do this, 
Usually we can do that, but we need this pinky. Oops. For the now following E7 flat 9 chord, which is um which we can play with a um diminished chord. 9 10 9 10. And the resolution is A. Play the open A string and play that A minor 11 we had before again. Four strings, upper four strings, then the upper four or three strings only. Um, right? Bass, upper four strings, upper three or four strings. And that same th uh, D13 we had before. 10, 11, 12, 10. All right, and here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Phrase number five are the last four bars of the B section already, and it's pretty simple. Here we go. Three, four. start with a G9 chord and we have this here G on the tenth of the A string seven uh, nine ten 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 by barring all the way through we need this D here is the melody we start with the bass then the rest the the, the upper four strings then a melody just a two I mean you could strum four times but um, the melody uh, gets out clearer, becomes clearer if you just play the uh, upper string, the E string. C13, here would be the C, we don't have it, we had it on D actually already so you should know that chord, 8, 9, 10, 10, right? Again we play all four strings, then the melody, then I'll repeat all four strings and a melody, so twice. But you could also go like... Really doesn't matter. And we are now on F13. 7, 8, 8, 10. Here would be the F, and that's an F9, 13. Then I'll lift my pinky and have the 8 on the E string come out. Then I repeat those four strings for the F9. And then a B flat 13. Same as the C, but two to the left. Six, seven, eight, eight. I play it once. Then the high E string. A little rest. And then B flat 13, flat nine chord. That's an interesting chord. Six, seven, eight, eight. Seven. Thirteen flat nine. Alright, and here's the entire phrase number five at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Phrase number six is the C section, the entire C section, and we start out the same way as the A1 or A2 sections for the first two bars, and the last six bars are different, and that's why we call it the C section and not another A section. Three, four. All right. The first two bars, you remember this, E flat major 7 and a filler. And then we move to e, flat, uh, e diminished, now we go to C diminished and they are not the same. And we are on the 10, 11, 10, 11 here, C diminished. Uh, then I play the, up, uh, the E string and now I go down 3 frets, 1, 2, 3 and it's still a C diminished, right? Now a filler rhythm, bass, upper three strings twice, everything once. And 
now we have a very, very, very cool ending. Um, I was a bit sloppy, I'm sorry. Um, F minus M, we have actually a 2, 6, 2, 5, 1. We start with an F minor chord. Here is an F minor. Look at this part. We play it like an A minor down here, plus the seventh. That gives us 10, 10, 9, 11. Right? No F. Well, actually, there's an F in here and here. F minor 7 on one end. This is a kick. A kick is a uh, accent, an accent that the entire band plays usually. Ah, one and. Then the, the six chord, C7 sharp 5, C on the 8, 8, 9, 9, 1 and 3. Then another C altered chord, we substitute it by a diminished chord, with a diminished chord. That's an E diminished. We had this in the beginning, where we had this E diminished substituting for a C altered. Now we have this E diminished. 7, here is the E, 8, 6, 8. E diminished or C7 flat 9. Right? You can actually leave this on as your guiding finger, okay? From C7 sharp 5 to C7 flat 9. Going to F minor 11, the 2 chord, these fingers remain on these strings, but spread out through the 10 and 11, and I bar. Here's my F. 8, 10, 8 by barring, and 11, in a 4 strings only. B flat 13, my guiding finger glides down. We had this chord, I think, before. 6, 6, 7, 8. And E flat made uh, 6. Here's the E flat, 6, 5, 5, 4. All right, here's the entire C section. That's phrase number 6 at slow tempo. 2, 3, 4. I have a lot more chord melody beginner lessons, intermediate and advanced lessons up here on my YouTube station. Just check them out. I hope you like this video and give it a fat thumbs up. I see you next week. Servus, baba.